Fatty Patty, the theater boy. Oh, West Side Story, Patrick. Bye-bye, Birdie, the whiz. Ah, what a dork. Oh, he thought it was a good idea coming after me, too. How did that play out? You and Josh Denny, your gay lover. How did this guy come out? Here's another troll of mine, Joe Howard, everyone. This guy came after me. He was a former friend of mine. I have given this guy more paid gigs than he's ever got. He's uh, barely a comic. Uh, he tried to team up with Brad Thacker to take me down, and he called in the Patty show, and He's a, he's a, he's a guy who lost his wife because of his alcoholism. He picked up his daughter when he was drunk from daycare. Uh, he was forced to go to rehab because he was working at Ford. He worked at an auto plant. His father got him because he dropped out of high school when he was 16. And then, um, Ford was going to fire him if he didn't go to rehab. So he went to rehab and, uh, now he, he pledges sobriety, even though he pounds, pounds, Heineken zeros and smoke cigarettes nonstop. And he married this whore, this ugly whore, who's a, uh, I think she cuts hair for a living. But uh, this is them. But let's take a look at this chick's teeth. Her name's Megan Howard. She's got a mole. She's disgusting looking. She's got uh, those crow, the wrinkles in her eyes. But this is the guy who came after me. This guy, with Brad Thacker. His name's Joe Howard. And again, again, I uh got this guy millions of gigs. Like I brought him on my old radio show, got him on a comedy tour, and uh he tries to troll me and he thought when I was down and I was depressed that he was going to come after me and pile on me and he wanted me to go to prison. But yeah, they uh he gets all these tattoos cuz he's not comfortable in his own skin. But look at that mole. Ugh. Yeah. This is him, Joe Howard, everybody. He's get look at those tattoos he gets. He gets terrible tattoos. Um he's the same guy who uh burned all these bridges in Cleveland and now he's he, he he's trying to partner up with everybody. Um and again, he he lost his wife, Tammy because he was an alcoholic and she ended up uh dating another guy this guy mike maynard and um she was just tired of him he was a loser and then he tried to blame his alcoholism on his divorce when technically that's how he lost his wife was his alcoholism but again the guy pounds uh heineken zeros non-stops and then uh he went to rehab true story bill from jersey you know who got him sober i'm not joking i swear to god maxwell and this guy would troll Maxwell for years. He went to Glen Bay, got him sober, and now he trashes Maxwell again. And, 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 Oh, no one's safe. No one's safe from the Z-Man. I'm telling you, when I'm at the top of my game, I know you guys are waiting, Carl, Carl. I know you're waiting for me to fall. You're waiting. Like, oh, he's going to fall someday, and I'm going to be right there. I'm going to shit on. It's not happening. Carl, it's not happening. You want things to be the way they used to be. When Kevin Brennan and I were fighting and you guys were all piling on, that's how you want things to be. It's not that anymore. It's just not. I'm on top. I'm the guy being talked about by everyone. I'm the reason why Stuttering John came out of retirement to fight back because he saw me doing it. This is what it is. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm the funniest I've ever been. Everything's in the gr everything's great. Everything's great. I'm not falling down. It's over. I'm doing nothing. I'm a choir boy. I am a choir boy. So what do you got, Carl? What are you going to do? You got to accept what it is. This is what it is.